What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be working on this 2005 Volkswagen Beetle. This is a 1.8. So I'm gonna be replacing the power steering pressure hose. I did a transmission service a couple of days ago and I noticed the one on the vehicle, it's leaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the car up in the air. Um, I already have it on the lift. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by taking these plastics off. So these plastics, there's three pieces. This is one piece, this is the second piece, and over here I got a third piece, and it's pretty simple to take them off. So this one has four bolts, it has one right here, one on the front, another one on the front, this one back here, and then the plastic on the side, I know it has one back here, and uh, I'm assuming this one's gonna have another one right here, and um, I think that's pretty much it. So once you remove the one on this side, and the one on this other side, all you gotta do is just Carefully just pull it down and it should come off no problem this one and this one over here So I'm gonna go ahead take the plastics off then I'm gonna show you guys the pressure hose. Okay, so this is my pressure hose This one right here and it connects to the power steering pump So I have to remove this bolt right here on top and um, it goes on top of the transmission Then to the bottom and it'll kind of wrap around it And it's gonna connect to the to the rack and pinion back there so you have to come on this side so right here you're not really able to see it so it's up there so it's gonna be the bottom one if i'm not mistaken um yeah it's, it's gonna be the bottom one so there is two right there i think the top one is the return and the bottom one is gonna be the pressure hose and it has a couple of brackets so here's one bracket i think it's a 10 or it might be a 13 i'm not really sure uh, here's another one and actually it is gonna be like a 13 millimeter and i think it's gonna have another one on top right right on top of the where the transmission is you can't really see it because there's these hoses and these wires and um I, that's gonna be pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and take it off then i'm gonna show you guys what you have to remove okay so i got my pressure hose or pressure line whatever you want to call it right here so there is like three brackets holding it there's one right here this is the second one and there is a third one that goes on the starter um, so it's gonna go right there on the starter so you have to remove the one on top so the one on top you have to remove it with the extension and you just do it from the side it's a lot easier to do it that way because if you try to fit a ratchet through here or a wrench it's gonna be a little bit difficult so it's just better to get it from the side and i'm gonna show you guys so it's gonna be this one right here so it's this one right here this is the other one from the side so you just grab the extension and break it loose take it off and the next thing you have to do after that there is this connector so this connector it's gonna go right there on the transmission so you just disconnect this and you're able to bring this down now the last thing i have to do i have to remove the bolt from the pump and um, from this side i'm gonna try to get the one from the rack and pinion you can't really see it but i mean it's in there so i'm gonna remove those two bolts and i'm gonna take this completely off i'm gonna put some oil pans so i can catch the oil and i don't make a mess on the floor i already spilled a little bit of oil but it's not that bad so i'm gonna try to keep it clean okay so i removed the bolt it's a seven eights so i use my seven eights to remove the bolt i used the wrench i was gonna use a socket but it didn't fit so you're able to do it with the wrench and this is my pressure hose right here now one thing i didn't notice in the beginning is that it has another bracket so this is another bracket that it has and it's bolted onto the power steering pump and it also has a little spacer so it has like a spacer that goes to the pump so make sure when you put it back on you gotta put the spacer on as well so you don't damage the pump or you don't break the bolt so this is completely off now i mean it's gonna be leaking a little bit of oil so I got this side off. All right guys, so for the rack and pinion one, you could grab a long extension. And this is gonna be a 13 16 And you're able to get to the bolt from the side. So right here where the tie rod is, you're able to reach in and you're able to get to the bolt. So just break it loose and um, take it completely off and that's it, it's not a big deal. So I got both my bolts off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pressure hose. I got my old hose right here and this is gonna be the new one. So I kind of match them and they look similar. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. I'm gonna use new copper washers. It comes with a new hose. So I'm just gonna use the new ones. I have my pressure hose installed. So all the bolts, they're loose. I didn't tighten them all the way. So this one on the pump, it's loose. The bracket that goes right here, it's loose. There's another bracket in here. You can't really see it. The one that bolts onto the starter, it's up here. You can't see it because it's kind of dark, but uh, let me see if I can show you guys. That one right there. So this one's loose as well. This right here, this one is loose. So this is loose. This right here is loose. And in here, let's see if you can see it from here. So that one right there, this one right here, that one's loose as well. And I'm gonna show you guys something. And I kind of had a hard time putting the bolt back on because there's not a lot of room through the bottom and there's not a lot of room through here. So what I did is I broke these bolts loose on the cross member. So it's one, two, there's a third one right here and here's a fourth one so i broke all of them loose and i brought this down just a little bit so i can fit my hand through here so i'm able to fit my hand through here and that's how i was able to put it on so now that i have all of them in place i'm gonna start to tighten the brackets so all the little brackets that hold the hose around the tranny and the motor i'm gonna tighten those and then at the end i'm gonna tighten the one on the on the pump over here and the one on the rack and pinion and then don't forget to connect this connector right here from the tranny and also i'm gonna tighten the cross member bolts as well all four of them so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'm almost done i'm pretty much done i'm just gonna double check everything my transmission connector make sure the four bolts on the cross member are nice and tight all my brackets for the pressure hose i think there's four of them there's one two three and four on the on the pump right here the bolt that goes to the pump and the pressure hose the one that goes to the rack and pinion and i think that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and put my plastics back on i'm gonna bring the car down add power steering fluid and i'm gonna turn it on i don't think i have to prime it or i have to bleed the air because there's still oil inside so i should be good just adding oil and everything should work no problem and that's it let's go ahead and add oil i'm gonna go ahead and add fluid now before you do make sure you check the owner's manual because sometimes they require special fluid on mine i don't need any special fluid it's just power steering fluid but i know some cars use automatic transmission fluid other cars use synthetic power steering fluid uh, like i said before mine doesn't require any special fluid just power steering so check your manual and make sure you put the right fluid so i'm gonna go ahead and add fluid and just top it off to wherever it's the max so i'm gonna add fluid on mine i'm gonna turn it on and i'm gonna make sure uh once i turn it off once i let it cycle for a little bit turn it off make sure all the bubbles go away and I'm gonna make sure I'm on the max. So I just added fluid. I'm gonna go ahead and let it idle for a little bit. And I'm also gonna move the steering wheel back and forth. Make sure I get all the air out. I mean, it feels pretty good, it feels soft. So it means it's working properly. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, turn it off, check the level and make sure I'm good. Okay, I let it idle for 10 minutes. I checked the level. I had to add more and um, I check underneath and it doesn't look like anything is leaking. So it's pretty dry. So that means I'm pretty much done. All I gotta do now is just drive it, make sure it doesn't leak and check the level again. And that's it. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.